There, there we are. Uh, yeah, dim sum <laughs> by Jar Wobble and uh, GZ uh, Tian. That is, of course, Charlie's uh, son, Charlie, who is a former, I uh, may still be a pro footballer, we'll discover uh, more now. But, uh, guys, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Paul. How are you doing? Yeah, pretty good, thank you. Uh, and good afternoon to you, Charlie. You're right, yeah. Yeah, yeah, good. We uh, we 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 enjoyed that. Um, obviously, from the name GZ Town, a bit of a Chinese influence, and there, there is a reason for that, isn't there? Yeah, yeah. I mean, my mum's Chinese, so um, you know, I've grown up probably closest to that side of the family in, in terms of culture, because um, of her, her parents, you know. So, yeah. Um, yeah, I think musically as well. On my mum's side, play play instruments as well, so they've. Um, you know, at least with Chinese music, it probably taught me everything I know. And um, I think, you know, it probably comes out in my own music as well. Um, hence the name, yeah. It's a bit yeah, John, you dad, really. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I've, ruined, I've ruined his life. We live up north, but I made him become a Tottenham fan, so uh, oh. I'm, I'm to be honest. You know. Yeah. <laughs> Did you, I was going to ask you that, because when, when last time you came in, John, you're obviously a massive Spurs fan. And um, so you did, did you give Charlie any any choice? Was there, did he, did, of course... No, 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 no. <laughs> and his, and his brother, my eldest boy, Tai Tai, John, but he's mm. Charlie's name's Tai Tai, he did once say to me, we were walking in a local park, and I swear, it was one of them days where there was a thunderstorm brewing in the distance, and he said to me, Daddy said, man, United are a good team, aren't they? And I said, we're Tottenham fans in this family. And I looked down at him as the thunder, as the thunder rod. But I had a mate of mine in the East End whose son at eight said he wanted, he, my mate's a West Ham fan, so yeah. took his son down a pub with him and all that, and he said, Dad, I want to be a Chelsea fan, I can't stand this. And he angrily said to me, you will stay here and you will suffer with the rest of us. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds about right. And is that, that's, that's that what good. you've been doing, Charlie, suffering with the rest of us? Yeah, it's particularly the past two years or so. I mean, we got we went to the Champions League final for a for rumor a shout here, but I don't know. With, with, with United, when I was a kid, obviously they were winning everything, and um, I just said to my dad after the uh, after we, I mean, the game was over in the first five minutes. I said to him, "Could you not just just let me and my brother support United?" As a, but you know, it's too late now. <laughs> Even if you wanted to go go for United or Liverpool. You know, Tottenham, by the time you, you're this age, you, you can't change a team, you know what I mean, even, even if you wanted to. Well, no, I'd take him. He, 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 hmm. he would go with me. We'd, he'd play football on a Saturday morning up here and we'd bomb down to Tottenham. So he got used to the atmosphere at the old White Hart Lane. I'd, I'd take him down there every own game, you know, for years. So hmm. he's, he's imbued with it. He loved it, you know. Yeah. I mean, that's when you're never going to beat that atmosphere you had at the old stadium. You know, no. we'd be in the Lower East Side. It was, uh, you know, near, near the corner there, near the Park Lane. It's great, you know. You're never going to get in them days back, like the old Upton Park, the old Berlin sure. round you won. Yeah, no, of yeah. course, that's that's true. Uh, you three will, of course, be fully aware this is the eighth anniversary of Chelsea's win in Munich. On, uh, oh, God, that was, a, that was a, uh, one of that was the bleakest that? evenings of my footballing <laughs> yeah, yeah. life, that was. That was so and bleak. Your lovely, your, lovely, your lovely, delightful kit man, what's his name, the kit man, yeah? What a lovely bloke. Hmm. We know what you're talking about. Kick, yeah, yeah. Kick, you know. <laughs> All so, good stuff. so Charlie, are you, so you did play pro. You played at uh, York and elsewhere. I mean, uh, were you still playing music all this time when when you were playing pro football? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, I've been playing music and football probably since about the same time. Probably from the age of three. My dad mm. always forced me to play football. My mum always forced me to do music. <laughs> but um, I think the, uh, I think when I was about 16, obviously I, I went to York, uh, signed my pro contract on my 17th birthday. Hmm. But um, I was always I was always doing music. I think music at that time was more than it, which which helped me kind of switch off. Um, yeah. My main instrument is a Chinese it's violin for the early. and I'd always come back from training and just play for hours on that. Probably spent more time playing that than than you know training. But well, I'll, tell, I'll tell you an interesting thing with him. When, it was, when he was a game, he felt he hadn't had a great game or was frustrated with the result. He'd come back here and he taught himself to play German piano pieces, yeah? Right. Like, to, really? you know, and artists and stuff. Yeah, he's a talented boy. But the only thing, I didn't say anything to him. My old man come back a bit traumatised from the 8th Army. 
Um, he was an El Alamein veteran, and he'd come back, and although he'd been trying to kill, had been killing Germans, and they'd been trying to kill him, he taught himself to deal with a stress German piano pieces. Isn't that weird? Wow. You know, he wow. didn't know that. Wow. Yeah, they're both, there's the weirdest thing in it, you know, they both taught themselves German wow. piano pieces. That he know. gravitated well, towards that, that without knowing, wow. Yeah, yeah, I was down in the gutters and I'm leaving for a yacht, and I'd probably say it's not too far after World War, is it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, down here. Oh, yeah, all oh, oh, the defenders called Psycho and Mad Dog. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I said, yeah, good, a good, a good white place uh, to, to pay your due, certainly. So, um, is that it football wise for you, Charlie? Yeah, you, you, would you go, would you, is this music all the way for you now? Um, definitely in love with the music, but uh, not, I wouldn't say it's it with football. I mean, mm -hmm. I'm, um, I'm still playing at the moment, just my unit. And, uh, you know, really, I think isolation, if anything, just got me. Back in love with training properly. You know what I mean? Yeah. I think I think the past year or so it's been a bit, you know, well definitely part time. Just you know, training, playing football, get, you know, just loving it. But I think for the past, I'd say one or two months, just been at it like I was when I was, you know, professional. Well, just, he plays. I tell you, he plays for. He goes to King's Uni, but he plays for GKT. That's the that's St Thomas's guys and King's cause, cause, uh, plays for the hospital for the young yeah. doctors. So they've all, been, all his teammates been dealing with the COVID stuff, all this, you know. Mm. And they won the double with him last year, so I think they're very happy with him. But he's yeah. training like mad right now, actually, isn't he? Yeah. yeah. I mean, I am. I'm, I'm training like mad, because what else are you going to do, exactly. you know? So uh, I think he's looking to go back into non-league next year. So if anyone's up to have him down, uh, you know, there, I think he's up to that seventh, seventh tier of the pyramid or whatever, you know what I mean? Wow. And John, looking at your website, I, just, I, yeah. gave up, oh, I gave up martial arts years ago. I did it, and I gave up maybe a little bit too early because it's just a lovely, fun thing to do, you know. Yeah. Oh yeah, you should keep playing all the time you can. Certainly. Yeah. Sorry, Andy. What were you going to say? Yeah, well, I'm, no, no, I'm no, starting just... again. I'm playing. I'm, I'm playing walking football. I was supposed oh, okay. to be touring. Oh really? A tournament. Did oh, really? you? I played the point and FC walking football and box football cheetah. I played for. You know, oh, so okay. I played two. Of, so. We're all the good lads. I'd like to say a big shout out to all the lads. I miss them. You know, we can't play at the moment. You know, yeah. I play on a Wednesday. A lot of United, the, the, the ex United kit man plays down there, and it was a big United contingent down at Point. And, and on the Friday morning, we play. The Friday morning's the rough one. Lots of debates about, you know, me kicking people and that, which is nonsense. You know what I walking, mean? You can't I like the idea of people. walking football hatchet, man. It's great, isn't it? It's a great <laughs> well, idea. used to have them all one, levels. There's a, there's a moot. There's a moot point because everyone runs anyway, you know. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, that's no, that's no good. good. Yeah. You need a good There's some good lads and good players down there, you know. Yeah, yeah nice one. Yeah, I was just saying, sorry, I didn't want to interrupt you, but you're looking at your website, you, you also dabble in art, and uh, a lot of people, of course, have been watching Grace and Perry and doing a lot of art in lockdown, so I see a lot of yours have been sold, so have you been producing some new work? Yeah, I have been, yeah, but I've done a couple of paintings in the lockdown period, and, you know, uh, I just find it very rare, I just paint, you know, I make, this is with Charlie, it's like same thing. you make music for fun, you play football for fun. Family, it's a family fun project. You know what yeah. I mean? You know, and, mm -hmm. and I like I, I like the boys are good boys. Charlie's a good lad. You know, he's a good you know good lad. He's he very talented and everything. So you know, it's fun for me. He's got his own career going anyway. As GZ and he's hundred thousand streams I think already, and he's only just started out. You know, he's doing all right. The music, he's doing good. You know, and right. it's just a fun thing, really. You know, get on with them all. So you know, while you can, you do it. You know, simple as that. Of course. Well, look, keep up the good work, boys. Good to talk to you. Appreciate it. Yeah, look after yourselves, and thanks for joining us. Thanks, Paul. Thanks, Andy. Look after yourself. See ya. There we are. This uh, Jar Wobble there, and the GZT and his son Charlie, and we'll play it with a little bit more of that track, uh, Dim Sum. Jim White and Natalie Sawyer. Tomorrow morning from 10 on Talk Sport. He looks good.